games that don't live up to their titles. This is the review for Drunken Robot Pornography from Dejoban Games. You might remember them from ah, 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 from the awesome. This is a Unity game. Retails for fourteen ninety nine. What stinkies or ten ninety nine euros because they observe regional pricing. So what is it? Bullet Hell Boss Battle. Oh yeah, you can find this at Dejoban dot com slash Drunken. Uh, what is it? You can call it a bullet hell boss battle, first person shooter, giant robots, martinis, and jetpacks. Yes, drink the cocktails, fight the titans, make your own titans. Titans are my trigger! Uh, ah! drink your friends, <laughs> yeah, drink your friends' cocktails. Basically, what it is first person shoot em up, boss focused, you're given a time limit to accomplish a set of goals, and you go pew, 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 pew. That's pretty much all there is to the game. So, cue the chairquisition. We have our crazy four chair metric. One chair means it's shit. Two chairs means I'm not sure if it won't. Three chairs means that's pretty good. And four chairs means that it's astounding. Astounding, <laughs> even. And of course, we have our categories of doom, mixed with the working shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So, Vin, did drunken robot pornography make with the working? Drunken robot pornography made with did such it, did, working, it blew my entire head organ apart, but I managed to reassemble it using nothing but drugs. Um, nothing. No issues. Ran out of the box. And this is something we used to normally expect. Like, the first round of Unity games kind of always ran out of the box. Not so much the case these days, and maybe not so much the case... With this for everyone else, but I'm going to give it four chairs. That's the best I can do for it, because it did. And that's on our Ubuntu Minimum test box of business. 1204, 32 bits. Oh, fuck you, that's why. On a pair of 770s. J-Man. Well, uh, it was working fine at first. I had no issues with it. And then something happened. Uh, I was showing up on my right-hand screen, but only ha but only half the game was showing up. Why is that? Pedro will explain it to you in a little bit. It's enough for me to ding it one chair. Otherwise, the game ran reasonably well enough. Three chairs. Yeah. So, instead of one config file, as is tradition with Unity games, it's usually in .config, Unity 3D, the name of the game company, and the name of the game, and there's a prefs file in that folder. You just edit it, and it will fix the multi-monitor resolution things. With this game, instead of one, you have two. Two files you have to edit. The second one being in the game Steam Apps folder. Uh, so, right off the bat, it's not doing so good, because in order to fix the multi-monitor things, because I have extended desktop instead of separate X sessions, I had to edit those two files. And then I started playing the game, and I realized it was completely buggy. Then, uh, if you could show the lovely peoples outside, you know, out there on the internets, what it looks like on my end to choose a level. And what for those of you that? who can't see this because you're audio listeners, this will be in the show notes as well. Yeah, for the audio listeners, there will be a link in the show notes. But yeah, this is completely busted. And for me, it can only get two chairs because it's what it deserves. <laughs> all right so that's averages out to about three chairs from mixed with the working up next is shiny and sounds then was this pornography for your eyes and ears you would think drunken robots and pornography would be my business and the bee's knees let's take a little bit of the looks here while we're talking about this yeah it's unity you know one thing unity can do well quasi cell shaded graphics and this takes advantage of that in spades. Nothing here will blow out your eye pussies, but the textures are clean, and the big boss thingies are well done. The soundtrack, however, can eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> and the weapon sounds are so flaccid. Well, they're as flaccid as P-Man's penai in a room full of hot ladies. That's not exactly so, true. when you put all that together... It is. With the we, we've done the experiment. <laughs> <laughs> I know that so many times, I and mean, at this point it's routine. All that audio, meh, but all that visual, yeah, kind of overrides it. So I'm going to give out three chairs because I really enjoyed the visual art style of this game, and you can always put on some Slayer, as is tradition. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, really, the like like Ven said, they, there's nothing in this game that'll just completely blow your mind in terms of audio visuals in general. I mean, yeah, it's decently sh- cell shaded. Um, I like the, the as re- really really my main complaints with it come from the soundtrack. There, it's just kind of bleh. I like the little rap at the beginning of the game. Oh God, rock them so. And you can sing once. along if you sit all the way through it. You got an achievement. <laughs> oh. I, I didn't. I gave up halfway through. <laughs> but uh yeah. I mean I mean really the, this this game is nothing remarkable in terms of audio visual. God damn those freaking rock em sock and robots keep they just cracked me up. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll I'll just get to it. Three chairs for shiny and sounds. It's good, it's not amazing. Next. Yeah, resolution cock ups and you know, it's Unity, it's those graphics you've seen over and over and over and over again. I did not hate the voice acting. I mean, they're going for sort of a parody style game, and I can sort of respect that. I didn't hate the voice acting, but outside of the rap at the beginning, like Jordan said, really did not enjoy this game. But we'll get to that. Two chairs for me for shiny and sounds. <laughs> All right, so that averages out to two chairs for shiny and sounds. Controls, Ven. I hear you like the twitchiness. I do, I do, absolutely. Um, um, the these bitches will complain later about. Um, yeah, it's true. I've had people nope out of my desktop because they can't deal with <laughs> the EP and extender turbo twitchy mouse of twitchiness, which I have to crank up all the way because I like barely moving because I'm lazy. And I'm used to that. This, I had no issues with this. I liked it. It was stupid high sensitivity. Dog it. And that's really what you need in a 3D bullet hell. You don't want to be playing all over your desk, you know, wax on, wax off. Shit, knocked off, you know, half my drinks and all that business. Um, I can't complain. I never tried it with a controller because I'm not a console peasant. I don't like potatoes. I'll give this a solid four chairs. For the controls, because it does what it says on the tin. I, too, have the Turbo EP and Extender Mouse of Motron. Um, but, yeah, damn, that, that mouse sensitivity right off the bat is just a bit too much for me. I had to knock that down. Other than that, though, once once you sort out the mouse sensitivity issues, the game controls reasonably well. Um, jetpack mechanic is semi-realistic, if you want to say that, just because you got to... You, you basically have to bunny hop throughout the entire way. You can't just hammer down on the space button and fly because, well, that shit don't fly. Hmm. Um, <laughs> really, yeah, like I said, the controls, the controls are reasonably tight. They're as good as what they need to be for this game. So I'm going to give it three cheers. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, just to hit a, a man while he's down or a game, as it were, the mouse sensitivity is far too twitchy. Even on the lowest settings, it's far too much. But even if it was just the twitchiness, I could deal with that. I could make do. But you know how when you're uh, when you're shooting, you just hold down the left click or you click it all the time or, you know, in order to fire the gun at a higher rate than one shot per second. Yeah, on my end, that doesn't work because I hold down the button and it fires once a second. Did, I did click that like a maniac. Make a Mystery Science Theater 3000 reference? Mm-hmm. And it fires once a second. So pair that with the fact that the menu is showing completely busted on my end, it gets one chair. All right. So that averages out to two chows for controls. And finally, our subjective category. And remember, we're three different people on three different sets of hardware running three, really two different distributions. Now you can say that actually too because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Ven, what what did you think of this game? Did you have fun? Um, I kind of did. Uh, one thing about this game, this is bullet hell, and I don't a game like this. I don't understand why it has three modes. It has derp mode, then it has eh, kind of hard, then it has what it should be. You know, not quite. You know, Nintendo fuck you hard, but what I expect. You know, old school Quake One, try to shoot things in brown. Got into that. You get a couple levels in, and you're like, ah, oh, this isn't too bad. I, I can swing this. Um, 
Old man Vengen, and then shit gets mental. I can still keep up, but after a few levels of like fuck you difficulty, you gotta take a break. When you take that break, you're like, Whew. wow, that. Welcome to your thirties, ladies and gentlemen. They suck. <laughs> um, yeah, motherfuckers. The game would have gotten a perfect score for fun because this is everything it said it was going to be. That's why I don't understand people bitching about Transformers, which was a cartoon created to sell the fucking toys. That's why I go to watch the movies. I don't expect a lot from it. I didn't expect a lot from this game. And it delivered what it said it was going to be. But one thing, especially not with the Titans, but the little snaky motherfuckers, they get lost in the background way too often for me. And I grew up, like I said, playing the original Quake, so I was separating brown from brown. I don't have a problem <laughs> doing that. It was just the backgrounds are a bit too busy, and the I got killed to death more than once. So I'm going to give that a three cheers for the fun. J-Man? So I do like that the levels are short, um, and they're, they're, they're fairly easy to digest. But after, like, two or three of them, I just got bored. I'm... It's, I, I, it, it was more or less a struggle to go through, like making it even to the half hour mark on it that. It was game. a challenge, but I still found a way to masturbate to it. Yeah, it's <laughs> difficult, but not entirely impossible to masturbate to, despite there being no actual pornography in this game called drunken robot pornography. You said it del it delivers what it says on the tin. It does not. There was no robot dick. There was no robot badge. I feel cheated. But in all seriousness, um, I, I I don't I don't know that. Honestly, I I don't I don't like games with like really short time constraints because then I focus more on the clock than I do on playing the actual game. But that's just me personally. Honestly, really, really the my biggest problem with the game is that it just gets so repetitive after a while that I just I just don't want to deal with it. And I, I I don't see myself playing this game more than the half hour I sunk into it. So one share yeah so ven said that the he wasn't expecting much from this game and it sort of delivered on that well i was actually expecting to be able to play it properly and i was not uh i've used the analogy regarding fps's and shooting spitballs out of a straw when it comes to how the guns feel I've used that before, I'm well aware, but this is just getting ridiculous. Uh, the gun has almost zero feedback for each shot you take, and believe me, I could see the feedback because it was shooting so fucking slow, it wasn't even pretty. And all things considered, the game is completely broken and downright unplayable. It gets one chair because we don't give out zero scores. So I guess that averages out to one chair on the fun category. And if we take all our scores and blend them together, make a slushy out of it, drink it, and then piss that out and give you your final chair, it's two chairs, which if you go two to chairs. the chair explanation, means mm -hmm. not sure if want. So it's a middle-of-the-road game. Then, final thoughts? Final thoughts. Pick <laughs> this up if you're really into not doing anything except focusing. You cannot do this on an ADD budget. Not gonna happen. Because if you squirrel, you're dead. You really <laughs> have to stay focused with that. It's a bit pricey, man. I mean, this does not come in as cheap sauce. Keep that in mind. Pick it up on sale. If you see it show up for, you know, nine ninety nine, something in that level, yoink it. If you like time trials and beating, it has letterboards, so if you're in the competition... Like that. It's kind of like racing with guns, except you don't have wheels and it's not racing. <laughs> Go for it. I mean, it was my type of game. I, I wish, you know, 10 years ago, I, I would have sit and played this game 10 hours straight, competing with that. But if you want a more laid back experience, or you happen to own hardware, you know, older than your mum, you might not have a good time. J Man? Uh. Bullet Hell isn't really my thing. If it is your thing, you might, like Ben said, you might get something out of it. It is pretty pricey, though. Um, I, I wouldn't have paid full price for the game. 
Uh, did they give us copies, or did we buy this one? I picked up. It was on a stupid sale, and I bought a three. Oh, uh, yeah, it was on sale for cheap. So if it's on sale for cheap, pick it up, try it. It might be your thing. The levels are nice and digestible, so very quickly you'll get a sense of whether you want to keep playing this game or not. Uh, very quickly. I, 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 I didn't like it, <laughs> but that's just me. Pedro? Yeah, and if you're on an AMD graphics card in Linux... And you're using the open source drivers? <laughs> stay the fuck away. Really, stay the fuck away because you're not going to have a good time. You're not even going to be able to play the game properly. So if you have an NVIDIA a 560 or anything above that, sure. Pick it up. Pick it up on sale, maybe. Yeah, 15 bucks, and no, it's not worth it. <laughs> Alright, so that wraps up our review of Drunken Robot Pornography.